from Wheels Electrical Services and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at my rocket light, my M18 rocket light. I'll run the code along the bottom because I don't remember it. Yeah this is absolutely awesome. I've had this for a couple of years now. I, used, I bought it originally because we go to the Moto GP camping and all that. It's a bit for like the old festival when we have the light it just shines a whole lot up. It's awesome and obviously it's mainly used for work of course but this is absolutely awesome. What you need to look at it is not a torch, you know what I mean? Even though it's obviously kind of is, you know what I mean? It is a task like it's unbelievable. It's perfect, it's perfect in all conditions. You know, we use it outside. I've got this little bad boy and all, but I'll review this at a later date. I just wanted to show you both together just in case one of you might have had this one or not that one so you can see the size comparison. But uh Right, I'll just turn these off and then we'll carry on and then I'll tell you a bit about them. So, so basically this one is, um, I've got into a bad habit to be honest, you probably shouldn't do this, but my, my tool pouch and all these is only, is only light, so it doesn't seem to be affecting it at the moment at all. I suppose I might have to tighten some of these, these tech screws up, but yeah, it's really nice. What I'll do is I'll bring you in and I'll give you a quick look around it. I'll probably do that via my mobile anyway, so we get a better view and all that. And it, oh, I tell you, it's absolutely magic. Best part is, is this is where the actual lens sits in there. So obviously you're not supposed to put your tools in there, but I do it. You know, it's, it's strong plastic. It's clearly not supposed to do it, but it's, you know, ideal for me. What I'll do is I'll quickly take these off and we'll have a quick look. Yeah, absolutely love this, it's awesome. So yeah, I'll show you how to set it up. So you literally press that button in, press that in, that comes down. I'll tell you one thing, over the two years I've had it, these, these metal springs go into the legs and that's how it is. Only once has one of them popped out and it was easy to just put it back in. You know, it's awesome. I think when I see the review on YouTube, they was on about like uh, all these bits and all that. I tested it like ten thousand times, you know. So it should never, should never break or anything like that. So to to take it up higher, so we do the top one first to make it easier. So you just pull that out the top there. I'll quickly show you whilst it's low. Is that this head shrivels the whole way round? It's brilliant. And it's got a little lead on the back. I'll take some photos and I'll add that as uh, we're going along. So that goes around. It's I love it, I truly love this side. So that goes all the way up, extended. And then the second one, all the way up. Shall I quickly measure that? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll quickly measure that. And it's awesome. If you're going to festivals or camping or anything like that, it's truly awesome. And obviously work, you know what I mean? It ain't all about work, is it? Right, so that is seven foot. So it's seven foot tall. I suppose not even works at seven foot. Do I? Right, seven foot. That is two meters, fifteen centimeters. That is tall as anything, can it? You know what I mean? And you turn that on. That that. If I turn that on, yeah. Obviously, I can't show you now because it's got the lights on. That will light this whole unit up. I could easily. I think I even installed it all under this light as well. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick look. This is what it's like with it on. You know, look, you can see everything. I've had to move the desk out of the way so we can, uh, got the room, so, you know what I mean? But look, turn that off. That's the three different, so that's the three different settings. So you can't really notice it that much, but yeah. It's an awesome bit of kit, I told you, isn't it? It's absolutely pucker. Would I recommend it? Of course, it is easily my best tool. The only reason I got the second one is because when we're doing rewires, we need it for a second room where, so like we can leave that, we can leave this one we're working or Ollie can take that one where he's working and I'll use this one, you know, it's pucker. For the lofts, we used to take this one up there, then we took that one, but I find the little uni light perfect for the lofts. Anyway, I'll show you a few images of it up and running and all that, but yeah, I've, and it's got three settings, one, two, three, but let's have it right with stuff like this. You're only going to have it in the top setting, aren't you? What's the point of having it and the other way? All or nothing. Anyway.
yeah, so I'll quickly just show you outside. I've obviously got the lights off. All we've got is a bit of move, moonlighting. There is a security light behind me, but obviously the camera don't pick it up. But look, this is full pelt. Look, that is awesome. I do apologise about the old van. The old van needs a bit of a clean, doesn't it? Look, it's actually spotless. So it was washed on, uh, it was washed on Christmas Eve, and now it is the second of January, which is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, man! Yeah, look, it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? So I'll quickly show you it. It's actually six o'clock in the morning. I've just literally had a call out. You know what I mean? It was a nightmare, regular customer. Yeah. That is absolutely spot on, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, so what I'll quickly do is I'll quickly show you how to take it down and how to put it back up, yeah? So all you do is you turn the head upwards you put the, these two levers, you've got one there, that comes all the way down, then close it, then another one, then you close it, and then what you've got to do is just move it to there. It sits about in the middle, so that obviously protects the lens whilst you're transporting it. You can buy bags for it, but I've, I've never bothered. I, I think, uh, I think my, my, one of my pals, uh, Ross, he's got, the, uh, he's got the 110 version that plugs in, the more expensive one, and I think he's got a case for his. And that's how it goes in, it locks in. So basically to set it up, you've got the battery there. Obviously where it's MAT, you've got the indicator on the battery so you don't actually need it on the top, on the actual uh, rocket light where the M12 actually has it on the, the on off switch, which with the on off switch is there by the handle. So you can obviously easily carry it. It's light, really light. I don't know, you know, I run along the bottom of the weight a bit and all that. So uh, basically, and what I tend to do is if I'm working around someone's house, if I'm working around someone's house and we've got the lights off, like in the living room, you can just have that stood like that, turn that on, and it just lights the whole room up. You can work all day under that light and so can they, you know, as well as like uh, warehouses and all that. This, this will light this up, you know, this stops you from, what doesn't stop you from working at all. And that one as well, you know, you get both together, you get a whole site going, you know. It's, it's brilliant and you know it is expensive but you know finishing an hour too early because you've got no light ends you know only a couple of days it pays for itself doesn't it really you know what i mean but it depends on which side of the uh, boat you are whether you're the employee or the employer isn't it you know what i mean the employer's getting one of these isn't he you know well thanks again for watching another episode i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you got a little bit soak out of it and don't forget if you're going to be anything you'll be electric up the old blues you know Oh yeah.